Thank Thomas Moore. I'm just here to tie up uh, what happened Friday. Uh, first of all, we were in a hold and secure, and you know, it, it all worked out great, but there's always a learning opportunity. Okay, so when we have what's called a hold and secure, it means that, that there's a threat to the school that's outside the school, or just a threat that may be outside the school. So if there is like, let's say a really uh, bad incident that doesn't even involve STM, but it's happening near the school grounds, uh, we would go into a hold and secure because the threat is outside the school. Uh, and, and what you need to know about that is that when those doors get locked and you're in a hold and secure, you're actually in a very, very safe place. Okay, I just want to remind you that n n none of the bad things that have happened around St. Thomas More have happened in our classroom or in our hallways or in our cafeteria. So it's the safest place to be, but if we ever get in that situation again and it happens to be your lunch period, we shouldn't be having to talk to students about remaining in the school because that's what the whole point is. We're keeping you safe and we are always sorry that you know you might have to miss your lunch or miss part of your lunch for the day we work as fast as we can but that's just the way it is so let's learn from that uh, if you're in a hold and secure stay in the building the building's safe and we we go on as normal and there doesn't really need to be concern uh, now i got a couple more things i want to talk about just in general i hope you'll listen to me fighting so most of these fights don't involve STM students, or they do involve, but uh, the people coming Friday were not STM students. Uh, if you want to engage in fighting, I just want you to understand that you can't win. There's no way to win a fight. Some people will say, well, yeah, I can win a fight. You know, I beat up, my, beat up this guy, and then you beat him up. What happens next? You're probably going to come back. He might bring a weapon, or he might bring other people. Okay, fights. And by the way, if you injure the person, boy or girl, you can get charged. So I'd like someone to explain to me, if you see me in the hallway, how you can win a fight because my, my belief is the only way to get out of a fight is to lose it because then you can walk away. If you quote unquote win the fight, you're gonna have to walk for the rest of your years at St. Thomas More looking over your shoulder worried about what happens next. In my experience, and it's been a lot, I was at Cathedral for three, here for three, St. Thomas More for three, here now for two, that's 11 years of dealing with fights. It's been my belief and my experience that you can't win a fight. Uh, I've seen a lot of people charged, seen a lot of people injured. Secondly, weapons make you unsafe. They make you more unsafe than if you didn't have a weapon. Uh, this needs to be said, but it needs to be reminded of people. Uh, again, I've been around a long time. I've seen students get injured by their own weapon. When you brandish a weapon, what happens next is most people on the other side of it have a fight or flight response. Flight is what you're hoping for, but fight is exceptionally dangerous. Why, what would you do if you had to fight someone with a weapon? You would either pull your own weapon out or you would focus on the weapon and use that weapon against the person that brought it out. Weapons only increase the danger and the violence. They don't protect anybody. And finally, to the 95% of people that are sitting here thinking, this has nothing to do with me. I would never involve myself in a fight. First of all, congratulations on being a good representation of St. Thomas More. But second of all, Please be a part of the solution and report when you know a fight is coming and don't congregate at it. Report, don't congregate. We've been tempting fate here at St. Thomas More since I've been back. I've seen and been involved in a lot of fights, some of which have involved weapons, a lot of which have been violent. And I'm telling you that it's a dangerous situation when I see 40, 50 students walk, watching I wonder what's going to happen if something terrible happens. You're going to have to live with the regret you've had when you could have reported when something really terrible happens and it happens all the time at these fights. So please do the right thing. If you hear that something's happening, report rather than run, pretending you're a reporter pulling out your cell phone so you can live stream it for some followers. Instead of that, report it and keep the school safe and your friends safe nobody will well it's just the way it should be and you will be a hero in the end we ever get recognized for that probably not but you you can sleep at night knowing that you made the school safe and you might have saved the life 
Because honestly, these fights are getting scary for me. I got the weapons that were um, confiscated on Friday, not from STM kids, were scary. So with that, I want to wish you guys a great day. Get ready for exams. Work hard over the next couple of weeks so, to, so that you can maximize your uh, marks and then enjoy a great summer. Have a great day. Good morning, St. Thomas More. A few important announcements from guidance. First, summer school registration will resume once again on June 29th and 30th. You will need to book an appointment with a summer school guidance counselor for these dates beginning this Thursday, June 22nd. The link to book your appointment will be made available through your guidance counselor's LMS page or via the school social media accounts. Only students with booked appointments will be seen at St. John de Verbuff or Cathedral on these dates. No walk-ins will be serviced. Please do not delay as appointments will fill up quickly. If you cannot get an appointment, students will be seen on a first come, first serve basis on July 4th and 5th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m once again at St. John de Brebeuf or Cathedral. Secondly, your 2023-2024 tentative timetable will be made available tomorrow, Tuesday, June 21st at noon through your Aspen account. Instructions on how to access your schedule will be available in guidance or once again on your counselor's LMS page. Appointments for timetable changes during the exam break will open up tomorrow at 3 p.m. Please note, period two lunch for grade 11 and 12 students is a thing. This is not an error. A reminder that lunch and teacher changes will not be made, so please do not waste your time or hours. Finally, could the following students please see Mr. Giovanangeli in the guidance office immediately after announcements? Mila Falakov, Iman Khalid, Ariel Rasabong, Miriam Ishak, Doreen Kasha. Have a great day, St. Thomas More, and the best of luck on your final exams. Good morning, SDM. We're from your diversity. It's a country with beautiful beaches, with an amazing variety of cuisine. And the street food. <laughs> all cuisine, all time classic OPM music, and let's not forget the best mode of transportation, jeepneys. Can you guess which country we're talking about? The, the Philippines. Philippines. The month came, the month of June, we celebrate National F Filipino Heritage Month, a time of embracing the spirit, talents, and karaoke. Oh, I have talents and families in this particular country with around 175 different dialects or languages. Find out more in our video for National Filipino Heritage Month. See us. Abaca the alphabet alliteration. Abaca accessories for admiration. Bamboos bumping, barefoot bounding. Kinetic Cali combat, boom boom powering. Digitally documenting, diving in the deep, beating everywhere, even on the street. Galleries, graffiti, and counts for the gram. Heritage with hometown hands, island fortresses, illuminated lands, lakeside living with locals and lilies, mountain rides made with the Ifugao markings, nocturnal nightlife, neon navigating, umid in a moment that means keep on smoking. Oratories, officers, old world magic, bullets and prints from pineapple fabric, Rondalia rhythms, riffing on rap, sunset street dancing, Sampaguita craft, tribal tattoos in traditional ways, ultimate underground, untouched caves, wild, wide, warm, welcome to wait for you. And yes, you too. Be part of the tradition, the celebration, and the culture. Be part of the fun. Hey, STM. My name is Kiara, and here are your announcements for today. Just a reminder of a brief but important meeting for the new prefects today after school in the lecture hall. Tomorrow is the last day that non-returning grade 12 students can donate their uniforms in order to get a city's clearance. After tomorrow, any donations can be dropped off to the main office, but no city slips will be given. Thank you to those who have donated so far. Thanks, STM.
SGM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 8.25. And remember, it's a great day to be a knight.